reported. Good evening, everybody. This is a regular meeting of the Vader City Council. It is February 14th, 2024, and the time is 6.02 p.m. Roll call. Here. Jason Daly. Here. Here. Andy Hall. Here. Mike Carson. Here. Michael Ferguson. Here. We are all here. Pledge of Allegiance. Mr. Parsons, would you do the honors? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, annexation update. Uh, the um, our application passed the Boundary Review Board and the public comment period without any, any comments. Um, and so um, the planner is looking to have an ordinance ready for city council at the end of the month. Um, next planning committee meeting is tomorrow at 5.30 for those that are interested. Um, also the parks board meeting will follow immediately after that at 6.30 p.m. Um, <clears throat> parks board did want me to, um, let the council know that um, probably at the next meeting, um, they'll have a request for um, some expenditures related to um, the park. So um, new bark, bark chips and things like that uh, for the playground so that we can keep it safe and get ready for the spring months. Yeah. Council reports, any members of the council have anything to report? Just a, a question, did we find anything out about the muffler break sign? Did we get a hold of anybody today? In, in, what, with, with, in what regard? Where the sign is, how long are we getting it? Are we I just didn't get a hold of uh, DOT about it and they pointed her into another contact. Um, it was my intention just for the city to when we go to apply for the sign grant again, just to get another one. But we need to find out if we can attach it to the back of the sign that's already there, or if we can post our own sign. So Kristen was looking into the details on it. Someone should be getting back to me, and I know that we don't have the old sign in the shop. So I'm yeah, I just wonder where I went. I think DOT probably took it, but, okay. Right now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other council reports? Okay. Agenda approval. Um, I'll make a motion that we approve the city council meeting for February 14th, 2024. We have a motion to by Mr. Parsons to approve the agenda as written. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Ferguson. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Minutes approval. Make a motion that we approve the city council meeting minutes for January 31st, 2024. Uh, motion by Mr. Parsons to approve the meeting minutes from January 31st. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Ferguson. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 We have all the ayes. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Voucher approval. Make a motion that we approve the 1st of February, 2020. Four vouchers for $44,572.79. That's different than the one that was emailed to me. Is that the 572 that's correct? Okay. Um, we have a motion by Mr. Parsons to approve the vouchers as stated. Do we have a second? Second. Seconded by Mr. Ferguson. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. 
Hi. Hi. Have all the eyes. Any opposed? That motion passes. One's opposed. Special reports to the County Sheriff's Department. Uh, the total totals for January 2024, the law enforcement totals during the month of January, we had a total of 199 citizen contacts, a total of 15 calls for service, um, three of which were when a deputy was dedicated to the city of Bader, uh, five traffic stops resulting in uh, no infractions, and uh, two custodial arrests uh, for assault for one when a deputy was in the city of Bader. In addition to that, I'd like to say that. Um, it's been an honor to work with Vader for the last three plus years. I would like to introduce uh, the gentleman back there in the back seat. Deputy Rubin, give me your new point of contact. Um, my phone number, email address is all staying the same. You can still reach out to me, but um, he will be the primary contact in the future. Well, thank you, Mr. Trez. Mr. Rubin, thank you for being part of the city. Thanks. Any questions? <laughs> oh, thank, you you know. <laughs> thank you. See the love, Deputy Rubin. <laughs> Get into. <clears throat> All right. Uh, moving on to public comment. Any members of the public have anything to comment on tonight? To comment on tonight. Okay. Moving on to city business item number one. Uh, council to consider nominations for the vacant. Council position one, the term would be ending in November of 2025. I have my little help sheet. Um, I'd like to open the floor to any nominations that the, for the position that the council has. The council have any, any nominations for the vacant city council position? There have been three applicants thus far. Thus far. Not everyone speak at once here. Hey, Joe, uh, is Bob Goff on that list? Yeah, uh, Mr. Goff is on the list. Um, so is Eva Goff and John Hurt. Okay, I just think they're and they're and they're all present tonight here at uh, City Hall. Yeah, this is where we're at right now. We're gonna stand on. I'll nominate John Hurt. We have a nomination for John Hurt. Are there any other nominations be before I close nominations? And for my guidelines, I will ask three times. Are there any other nominations for the vacant council position? Last time, are there any other nominations for the vacant council position? Okay, I'm closing nominations for the vacant council position. Um, since there's only one nomination, there being only one nomination, may I have a motion to appoint John Hurt? Hey, Joe. As hey, Joe. I'm, I'm, I'm talking now, I asked three times. <laughs> well, I he was thinking that all three of them were in the running. I didn't I didn't know I had to say their name again. Right. They well they've all they've all um submitted um applications, but 
if we're going to vote on them, they need to be, you know, nominated to be voted on. Oh, um, I, I apologize. I, I was confused. I was going to nominate um, Sheila Gall. Wow. Well, what do I do now that I closed it? It's not on my list. Just back up three seconds. So so no one yells at me. It's not a big deal. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, I'll reopen sorry, nomination. I, I just, no, Jason, really no. I'm, I didn't. I didn't uh, nope. I'm not upset at all. I just, I'm just work managing, managing my flow. All right. Uh, open nominations again. Um, Jason, you had a nomination? Yes, I'd like to nominate Sheila Goff. All right, so we have a nomination for Mr. Hurt um, first and Sheila Goff second. Uh, that does matter because that'll be the order in which it'll be presented for vote. Um, are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? I'm not turning this paper back over again. One more time, any more nominations? Nominations are closed. Um, since there's more than one nomination, uh, we'll vote on them in order um, that they were presented. The first um, person to get a majority of council votes, which in this case will be three, uh, will be appointed. So, um, all, of, all, of, all in favor of appointing John Hurt uh, to serve as the um, city, count, city council, say aye. 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 Okay, I heard two votes for John Hurt. Moving on to Sheila Goff. All in favor of appointing Sheila Goff to serve on the city council, say aye. 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 The tie. Hmm? Um, council members, who, who voted for John Hurt? With Mike Parsons or who else? Randy. That was that was Randy. Okay. Excuse me. My little list from the attorney doesn't say what happens if there's a tie. It doesn't. It's you. I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait. It says, in addition, the council can take tie breaks between voting rounds as needed. Take, oh, take breaks between voting rounds as needed. Breaks. Take a break. I do not know if the mayor can serve as a tie break in this case. I apologize uh, that I don't know the answer to that. So um, I propose to table this until the next council meeting again, until I can figure that out. Sure. That, is that acceptable? to the council members? Acceptable. Yeah. All right, I, I, I apologize again. I didn't realize it was gonna be uh, that tight. So that's good. It means we have good candidates. So I apologize to the candidates here. One more, one more meeting. 
Uh, moving on to no item number two on city business council to confirm the new building and planning lead, Daryl Hutton. So we did have um, several interviews. Um, Mr. Hutton um, came to us last week. Uh, we pretty much knew on the spot that Mr. Hutton was was the guy. So um, his background is, well, he served as inspector for the uh, one of the Cowlitz County uh, fire districts for 20 years, um, as well as being a firefighter down there. Uh, so he has certifications in, in, in building inspections and whatnot. He um, also um, was a manager for a business down there for, for a number of years. He has run an excavation company um, also for a number of years and, and, and still has the excavation company. Um, and so he is, very capable in, in construction and inspection and uh, and he's just a great guy too so um, he's actually started earlier this week um, so he'll be at the planning committee meeting tomorrow night for folks if you wanted to meet him so, but, well, that's exactly uh, what we're looking for. he's exactly that's what we're crazy. Looking for. yeah yeah i reviewed his application and i yeah i i, would, I apologize um for not being able to be there for his interview, but he uh, he definitely looks like he's qualified. Absolutely, yeah, and he's already um, been looking at a few things that we outsourced that he could probably do for us and save us money, which again is exactly what we were looking for. So, so they could move faster. Nice. We need a motion on that. Please. Oh, a motion that we. Uh, approve the fulfilling of the position for building and planning so a motion by mr ferguson to confirm the new employee do i have a second 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 by mr parsons more discussion yeah i'm looking forward to you all getting a chance to meet him he's uh he's going to be a, a a great resource for the city absolutely looking forward to it all right, well, hearing uh, no other comments, all those in favor of confirming Daryl Hutton as the Building and Planning League, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Um, Council to consider proclamation in support of uh, the state's border issues. So, um, after Mr. Parsons, <clears throat> challenged me on my knowledge of the issue. I had spent two weeks um, looking at the issue and um, educating myself pretty thoroughly on it. Did you write this? Yes. Holy cow. It made me feel stupid because I didn't know anything about it, so I fixed that. So, Joe, you did an amazing job. You did a really amazing job. I, I appreciate your thoughtfulness and putting that together. So I could go into... That holy cow was like a holy cow. Does that make sense? So it's a complicated issue. I mean, I would compare, I would compare the issue to the homelessness issue in this country. If it was easy to solve, someone would have done it by now. Um, and so it, it, it's easy to get sucked into the, you know, my party's better than your party kind of narrative that we see a lot. Um, the matter the fact of the matter is there really is an issue um and folks aren't working together to solve the issue and that's what needs to be stressed is that they really need to come together and start stop acting like two parties and start acting like one group so i don't know if um that is something of what the council was looking for um but it's what I have available. Um, Mike, did you have a chance to read it through? Yeah. I did. And so I'll make a motion that we accept the proclamation for the state orders issue. Okay. We have a motion by Mr. Parsons to accept the proclamation. Is there a second? I'll second.
So I heard Mr. Ferguson first, I think. Any other discussion? All those in favor of approving the proclamation say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. So I guess I get to read it now. Should have wrote less. Maybe you can read it. Oh no. I have to take a break. <clears throat> Need a glass of water. All right. Whereas the Department of Homeland Security statistics show a record number of unauthorized crossings into Texas at the U.S.-Mexico border, whereas the borders in California and Arizona are also experiencing an unprecedented flow of migrants, whereas the United States Constitution and U.S. courts recognize the federal government as having sole power over immigration matters, which includes Congress and the President, whereas the Department of Homeland Security reports continue to show deportations on the rise with 3.2 million under President Obama, 2 million under President Trump, and 3.9 million under the first three years of President Biden. Whereas Title 42 of the Public Health Services Act during the federal public health emergency related to COVID-19 gave the Office of the President authority to close the border entirely to people seeking asylum from May 2020 to its expiration in May of 2023. Where, while the CDC's, whereas while the CDC's Title 42 public health order had been in effect, migrants who do not have proper travel documents have generally not been processed into the United States and instead have been expelled to their home country without being processed under the authority set forth in Title 8 of the United States Code, which includes the Immigration and Nationality Act. Na, na, nationality Act. Whereas Title 42 expo expulsions and uh, of asylum seekers under the Trump administration totaled 500,000 and under the Biden administration have totaled another 2.3 million. Whereas without Title 42 ath style authority, migrants must be processed under the authorities set forth in Title 8 of the United States Code. And DHS no longer has a means to properly, promptly expel migrants without a legal basis to stay in the United States. Whereas the Department of Homeland Security has stated that current staffing and funding is insufficient to deal with the levels of migrant processing and is already overwhelmed. Whereas the level of record level of unauthorized crossings has strained federal and local resources and communities across the United States, especially in small towns along the Texas border. Whereas the state of Texas has attempted to bolster barriers at the Mexico, bo Mexico border with additional fencing and other physical barriers and has just deployed the Texas National Guard to assist in the area, whereas the state of Texas cannot run its own immigration system, and the National Guard soldiers are not authorized to enforce federal immigration law and detain migrants. Whereas communication and cooperation of efforts by the state of Texas and agencies of the federal government have been inadequate, leading to confusion impediments to each other, con confusing impediments to each other. Whereas bipartisan U.S. Senate negotiations and the Biden administration have sought to create a draft immigration reform bill that would replace the loss of Title 42 style authority, increase the budget for federal border control agencies and provide other reform efforts. Whereas the U.S. Constitution Article 4, Section 4 states, the United States shall guarantee to every state in this union a Republican form of government, government and shall protect each of them against invasion and on application of the legislature or the executive when the legislature cannot be convened against domestic violence. Whereas US, U.S. Constitution Section 10 Clause 3 states, no state shall, without the consent of Congress, lay any duty of tonnage, keep troops or ships of war in a time of peace, enter into any agreement or compact with another state or with a foreign power or engage in war unless actually invaded or in such imminent danger as will not admit of delay. Whereas federal court have ruled against Texas in cases where the state claimed immigration and drug smuggling qualify as invasion, and the court ruled that the def definition of invasion is a political question and that Texas therefore could not rely on the invasion clause to justify placing buoys and rivers and other fencing measures in defiance of federal law. Whereas the city of Vader City Council views the situation at the border as both humanitarian and societal crisis, and as such requires a uniform front from both state and federal agencies. Whereas the city of Vader City Council strongly urges the U.S. Senate 
U.S. House and U.S. President to pass legislation that will increase funding and resources to the beleaguered Border Control Agency so that those agencies can continue to effectuate consequences for those who do not use the established pathways of entry. Whereas the City of Ader City Council strongly urges the U.S. Senate, U.S. House, and U.S. President to pass legislation that will, after decades of failure, address policy changes to address our broken immigration system. Be it proclaimed by the Council of the City of Vader that this council, for and behalf of the people of Vader, does hereby declare its support for the state of Texas and other states along the southern border as they continue to work with federal border officials to protect the life and welfare of the citizens of the United States of America. Thanks again, Joe, for your very thoughtful, thoughtful, thoughtful engagement in that. Thanks. It was fun. Um, any elected official comments tonight? All right. Um, last on the agenda is an executive session. Um, the city council will reconvene in after the executive session. Um, but so the members of the public know there is no, nothing else um, that will be happening afterwards. Um, this ex executive session should last for 15, 20 minutes. Select executive session will last for 20 minutes, uh, thereby the city council will reconvene at 6.50 p.m. Uh, this executive session for RCW 4231101I uh, deals with potential lit litigation. Excuse me. I think I just can we log back or, into another meeting, Joe? Uh, oh, yes. Um, Thank you, Mr. Fries. Yeah. Well, um, this um, okay. I will email to you all the link to the private meeting. Thank right you. Now. Okay. All right, Jason. Call in, right? Um, so he's not going to be able to. I doubt he'd be able to flip burgers and find a link. You need that. How are we going to get people on the phone yep. into that other room? I think uh, I can break the tie. Well, where were you five minutes ago? <laughs> I would actually. This conference will now be recorded. Uh, we are reconvening this meeting. The city council does need to extend the executive session. So we're going to extend for another 10 minutes. Um, so that would be, at, we'd reconvene at 7.05 p.m. This conference will now be recorded. Uh, that is the end of the executive session. Um, I'm shuffling papers. So that is, that's everything. This meeting is adjourned at 7.07 .07 p.m. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.